Uh, my name's Andrea Strang. I own Gallery 222 in Malvern. I opened uh, this sweet little gallery 2016. So not only do I rotate artists, but I actually have uh, Randall Graham there and he has students and Bob, that's how I met you. You're one of his students. So um, it's so far, it's been good. Even through uh, everything we're experiencing right now, my clients have been so generous and so engaged and I cannot be more thankful. And I am Bob James, oh. also known as Robert F. Francis James, and I'm a realist painter of still lives in oil. Today, what we're going to discuss is with the holiday season and the gift giving season coming, uh, oh. wh why somebody would consider paintings as a gift. Oh. So, Honestly, I, yeah, I, love this topic. I was thrilled when I heard you wanted to talk about it. I feel like it's the best gift to give, even, even at a wedding, not so much even Christmas. It's also for wedding gifts. I've done it. Um, again, I'm biased. I'm in the business, but the reaction I get is bar none. So, um, I can just go through personally, I have given um, for a wedding gifts. Uh, in fact, uh, I've had an artist do the bridal bouquet and gave it as a gift. So um, she'll always have her, her bouquet um, in front of her, you know, on the wall. And that has gone over huge. Um, I feel that it's really personal and it really shows uh, the giver has put a lot of time into it. Um, what I'm doing this Christmas, it's so funny, is I'm engaging our Randall Graham uh, to do a commission. So one thing that I see this time of year a lot is commission work. Um, they, you better explain what that means. That means when you uh, call Gallery 222, you have an idea in mind. You may or may not know what artist you love would, would hire to do or want to, to actually paint the painting you have. Um, so you come to Gallery 222, you have either a picture. Um, I just recently did, it was for a 50th birthday. Um, a woman had a picture of her and her sister. It was her sister's 50th on a swing. And she needed an artist. I sent her three or four different styles and she chose one and um, we worked through it. Uh, a lot of times an artist will do a sketch first and to make sure the composition's right. And then, um, you know, ha yeah, a deadline, that's always a tricky part because this can't be a last minute thing. Um, and then it's a, the perfect gift. So what I'm doing um, for my father for this Christmas, he's 94 um, and it's like, what can you give a 94 year old? So I have this newspaper clipping. This is actually him right here with the ball. This was in the Philadelphia Inquirer, or no, yeah, the Philadelphia Inquirer, um, 1942. I found, that's, this is from the Fiche. I went down to Philadelphia. Um, so I want this rendition in obviously color. And I'm actually going to, I've already talked to Randy about it. Uh, Randall Graham, he's in you know the gallery. And I want him, I already know what the school colors are. Um, and I want, him to bring this to life. Um, so I'm, I, I can't wait. And he'll always have it. Again, he's 94, but um, you know, God forbid when he passes, then I get it back. So I, to me, I think it's the perfect gift for someone who has everything. So but if, I don't, if I don't have time for all that, mm -hmm. isn't there something else I can do that's 
Yes. Maybe, maybe yes. just as thoughtful. Right. So um, it's funny you brought up um, having things already done. So we uh, are starting the Small Works show it opens a small business Saturday so I've in, engaged all my artists my in-house artists that I, I love and they have um, shown before with gallery 222 I have them bringing small works so a lot of them are um, still lifes they can be anything landscapes and they're at a lower price point and I know uh, friends of mine um, go to dinner with a bottle of wine. Um, so a lot of times they'll pick a, a little small works up uh, to bring as in a hostess gift the, for this time of year. So the oh, definitely that's a nice the idea. Works, yeah, the small work show. But I really feel like, um, you know, giving original art, I, I know you feel the same way. It's not like it's going to be seen anywhere else. I mean, just that alone, you know, um, it's not mass produced. So if you want a unique gift, um, original art is really the way to go. Yeah, I, I, I have also discovered by accident uh, mm -hmm. when I was young and I had mm. no money. That I, I, if I chose a, a small original piece of art for, a, say, a, a wedding gift, uh -huh. that was the piece, that was the one gift the couple remembered yes. years later. And, and I have had uh, recently, I, a friend of mine from college told me that he still had our wedding gift over his bed. <laughs> he was he was on wife four. Oh wow! But uh, he still had our wedding gift for the first wife. Oh my goodness! It outlasted a few wives. It, it, it not only crazy. outlasted all the toaster ovens and the mm -hmm. you know the crystal and the uh, the other gifts. It outlasted three intervening wives. <laughs> yes. But, but the re I think the reason is that it's. It's an original, uh -huh. the one of a kind, and, and people are blown yeah. away by that. Right. Particularly the one if, they're thing not, if they're not collectors, they're blown away by that, uh -huh. in my experience. Well, right now, and I feel that um, going personal is a really good thing. If you know they like either a certain um, park that they always walk their dog um, or... Um, Growing up, uh, something means something to them. Uh, that's always a nice tap in too. Um, I have um, a, a few commissions, back to commissions, but they've had, uh, it's gift giving, but they've had either um, a dog portrait made up for a friend um, or a wife. I know I actually had, um, I have this great, I had this great picture of my husband with my dog Smokey, who has passed um, on a jet ski at the shore. And it's the cutest picture. And we kept doing stuff with it. And I'm not a big, I'm not a big person to put pictures on the, on the wall. So I got a commission piece and it, it turned out so well. And that's at, you know, we have a shore house house and that's, I love it down there. It's like one of my favorite things to look at is my husband with Smokey on a jet ski. So um, I agree. If you can tap in to something personal, it will outlast. And, and, and I think the, I think the, uh, the artists can do that quite unconsciously or accidentally. Mm -hmm. I, I painted a, a, a loaf of challah bread. Yeah. And I painted a loaf of challah bread because it's an interesting object. Mm -hmm. uh, little did I ever, you know, imagine that someone called me and said she's buying it because her best friend is Jewish. Oh, so it's a holiday gift for I, I, that. That never entered my mind. Ever. Right. Oh, yeah. That happens all the time. People connect um, with 
art, original art in different ways. I see it. I see it all the time working at the gallery. Um, and most people don't know that art is um, a mood enhancer. You know, it actually um, uh, engages the dopamine in your brain as would uh, a smell or, um, you know, a good memory. It just, it, there's a scientific fact that it actually creates a, a mood in you, um, a reaction. So, um, and I can see it, you know, when people come across, you know, we have a lovely gallery where you can walk down and slowly look at the art. And when somebody is just literally stopped in their tracks, um, you know that that's, that's happening. I also like um, an aspect of original art that, that other things don't, other gifts don't have. Um, <clears throat> you can tell stories and people will, you know, your, your, your um, gift recipients will remember, are apt to remember those stories. And I'll give you, you know, give you an example. Uh -huh. If I buy somebody as a gift, um, say for Christmas, um, an, uh, an, uh, an electron, a piece of electronics, you know, fancy um, MP3 player, there's not much of a story that goes with that. Uh -oh. right? Well, I went to Amazon and I ordered it and it showed up at my door and thank goodness no one stole it. Uh, and here it is. And, and you can return it if you have to. But with a, with a painting, I can say, well, I, I visited a gallery in Malvern. It was lovely. And that uh -huh. painting just spoke to me. And the gallery owner described to me how the artist painted it. Uh -huh. suddenly you can tell a story right you can even tell the story of if if it's known um of why the artist painted the picture yeah why did she paint that picture right and those no. stories <laughs> stick those stories can stick but that's you can't do that with other gifts it's pretty hard yeah and then even not so much just you telling uh, who you're giving the piece of art to, they then have a story. So once it's on their wall, it is definitely a conversation starter. And um, that's, again, very unique. Yeah, you, you can't, you really can't, it's hard to match that with, mm -hmm. with other kinds of gifts. Um, I can think too uh, that there, you know, there are some, genres, if you will, of, of painting that are safe, you know? So if you don't know anything about, or much about this person, uh, you suppose right. you, you don't know she's Jewish, so it wouldn't occur, mm -hmm. occur to you to pick up a, a, a painting of a collard red. Um, mm -hmm. But there are safe things. And then I think there are, are less safe choices. So, so mm -hmm. I believe, for example, landscapes have such a wide appeal Oh my goodness! That is a safe. And, it's a safe bet. Yes, it is. And uh, you know, I actually can you see it? I have uh, one of Randy's. Um, he just walked into the kitchen of the gallery um, one day with this. And again, I don't what, know what why is it came over me. It's what this is this? Right here. So this right here. I don't know if you could see it. Well, describe so it. This, describe it. Yeah, so this is, he did the cold wax, and he, uh, I believe it's Valley Forge, because um, he teaches class there. I think he still does a uh, plain air uh, class. So it was plain air, and he, I don't know what, what about this, he walked in um, and literally just put it down in the kitchen, and for whatever reason, I'm like, I am in love with this. And again, I see his landscapes all the time. So you don't know why it resonates. Um, I don't know whether it's the texture. I don't know what about it. I still don't know what about it, but I still love it. And I still find myself uh, looking at it. And that's the one thing um, with art that you find at my gallery is, is you'll love this for, you know, for years to come. I never bought art to match my curtains. I mean, so, it's got to make some sense in a room, but it's not, you know, what decor art is all about. Um, that once you redecorate, you know, 
you throw out the art. So um, I'm, I'm big on if you have an emotional connection. That's why my gallery, as I don't want it to pre be pretentious, um, but it's a lot of white walls, clean lines, quiet, because I want, I want the client, the customer walking in and have the opportunity to connect. Another thing I, I don't do is I never hover. So I come in, I greet everyone, and then I, I quietly leave until they need information from me because I don't want to be um, in your ear, you know, stomping on your experience. I want you to really um, connect if, if anything is, is striking you. Some other safe bets, I think, for gift giving are, are floral paintings. Yeah. Still lives. Floral paintings mm -hmm. are a variation of a still life, but I don't think people, any, I don't think anyone's going to say, I don't like that. Yeah. Right. No, it's so true. And I feel every home should have a still life. I, it is my, I just feel like it's the oldest form. Um, and it, like you said, it doesn't have to be big. Um, and you know, there's small walls in your home and in your friend's home, if you're gift giving over light switches that will be able to take something, you know, very small. So I uh, see if I can reach this. So this is, I think this is an eight by eight, but this is like a perfect, you know, for that small wall not too big. And this just happened to be when I um, got the gallery, um, it's a hundred year old home. So one of the keys to the door was actually this. And I wear it around my neck sometimes at the gallery. So I had to have it in paint. <laughs> so um, I commissioned it. And again, I love it. Again, love my art, it's not going anywhere. And it really is uh, a fun thing if you know something about a friend or family and it's people that have everything, they're not gonna expect a painting. I think the, uh, another, another choice of, you know, that's a safe choice w would be um, figure paintings. Now, <laughs> not nudes. No, you can give anyone no. a nude, unless I knew, <laughs> knew them very, very well. Right, right. Um, but figure paintings, animal paintings, street scenes, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. those are all good, cho good yeah. choices, good genre, yeah, genres. I, this is in my bedroom that I had to bring down. So this is um, Bunny, a bun my, one of my artists, Jan Ware, does... Um, does a series of bunnies and they, who doesn't love a bunny? And um, she is so talented. These sold out within, I wanna say two days of posting on uh, online. And I don't know if they were gifts or people just fell in love with them personally, um, but that's actually a really kind of, you know, it's, it's tough. Um, to give a gift from, you know, if you don't have a picture of their dog that, um, you know, that I think definitely is a commission, but a bunny, you know, everybody loves bunnies. So right. it doesn't have to be a specific bunny. Right, right. Farms and even horses. Yeah, like horses. Pals that, cows. yeah the Oreo pals we have all throughout Chester County. Um, and they're actually, if you, we get small ones of those, they go out because... Um, a lot of neighborhoods are on uh, or near farmland with the uh, those Oreo uh, cows, which are so cute. Mm -hmm. The um, the other thing I think that's a, a safe bet is a, is a small painting. Yes, um, and I I think when you're when you give someone a large painting as a gift, mm -hmm. you run the risk, the very real risk of giving them something that they can't deal with. Right. Because they don't have can, a wall space. Don't have a wall. It mm -hmm. dominates a room and suddenly that room makes no sense any, lo any longer. Mm -hmm. the, the colors right. are wrong. And mm -hmm. so I think it's, it's right to think small 
when you're giving gifts. Right. And even price points. I mean, I don't know. I don't treat my friends all that. <laughs> you know, there's a, there's a monetary reason to go small, too, um, for a gift. But, yes, I feel, um, like I was saying, if you're, it's, a, it's a great hostess gift, like six by sixes. Um, I have a number of artists. Um, I should say, uh, for someone tuning in and hasn't been at Gallery 222 this time of year, the last two years, my small work show, not to be braggy, but just to say people come in for this. I've sold over 40 pieces of small, and whether they're gifts, I don't know, but they were they're actually, uh, this show is probably my most, most popular show. I think the price point's uh, small. If it's someone who's following an artist, uh, they see it as their opportunity to get a little piece of you know, their work. But also, I, it's probably going out to be gifts, a hostess gift. You can put it in a basket with a bottle of wine. Um, so yeah, I, I think people need to start thinking like what a cool idea. So talk, you're a gallerist, talk a little more about price points. What, what, what should people well, expect in a gallery? Well, my small works um, is unusual because uh, I don't have anything uh, $500 or uh, higher. So it's all um, $500 lower. Now, um, I think the sweet spot for a lot of people uh, to buy is like a $250 to $300 piece. Um, and uh, I think that that right there is really nice for this time, time of year. Now, yearly, um, as you know, artists price their own work. So um, I can have, uh, I've had t a piece t over $10,000 uh, to, I think the lowest is 200, maybe $175 is really the lower um, given all year, but it's their body of work. The one thing when I uh, meet with an artist, I, I extend a show and then I go out to their studio. And the one thing we do talk about is pricing. And my big thing is it's, it has to make sense size-wise because um, a client is coming in. It has to make sense of the pricing scheme or they don't trust it. And then the other is have um, work in all different price ranges. Like, I, you know, I see it as three different price ranges. Um, so you, there's something for everybody because not everybody's at the same, you know, income level. And if they really love your work, you want to give them an you know, opportunity to buy just a little nugget. Um, so, and then who knows, maybe in five years, they'll be back to buy something amazing because they've stared at this little nugget <laughs> for five years. So um, that's the whole thing with pricing, but the, the gallery doesn't price and people always ask for discounts. And I have to say, we do not have a, we're not retail in a sense that we have a 300% markup. I mean, we're margins are really tight. Um, so they're really, it's not like we're being snobby. It's just um, a structure that uh, doesn't give a lot of room for, um, for discounts. Right. And that's common to galleries. Uh, it, mm -hmm. it's, not, yeah. it's not just yours. It's common, common to yeah. all art galleries. Yeah. Even the, even the stratospheric ones on Manhattan, you know, on Third Avenue in Manhattan there. They, right. They're not, they don't discount either. No. Uh, yeah. um, and I think, think people get excited and they have to ask, which I don't blame them. But I, you know, I don't want to come off snobby, but it's just, it's just doesn't, it's just not the way it works. It's a shame. The, um, the, the, the last topic I wanted to talk about was whether or not you should give somebody a, a, a painting that isn't framed. And I have a strong okay. opinion about that, but what, what do you think? Well, framing is so personal. Um, I could go either way with the argument to frame or unframe. Um, I feel that I know personally, I have bought things that I've wanted to frame. I've, I've bought things and I've taken the frame off and reframed it. So um, I probably would have been better with not with
buying it on frames. But I think I'm unusual with that um, because I'm around it so much. Um, it is There is something to be said of having something that you can hang, especially as a, as a gift um, that you can hang right away. So, I mean, I can go either way with that argument. Yeah. What do you I, think? I, I put myself in the shoes of the recipient and I think about how as, as a child, someone, the, some uncle would give me a fire truck, but didn't have the batteries. And, yes. And I was so analogy. crestfallen. It was like, what? I can't use this. And it's a <laughs> holiday. We can't even right. buy batteries. Like, <laughs> so, I don't so want to, I don't want to ruin the spoil the gift by leaving out the batteries. So I would yeah, say no, buy something I, buy something and either frame it or 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 buy something that's already framed. Yeah. I I would go that. For a gift, yes, I would agree. Wow, this has been really a lot of fun talking to you. Yes, um, it has. So so explain how someone can visit your gallery and shop for paintings. Well, we actually um, were smart in setting up our online sales back in, I think it was 2018, maybe beginning of 2019. So we have been up and running and my clients are used to buying online. And I think that was huge given everything we're dealing with now. So our online presence is gallery222malvern.com. And then um, you just look for this show. Um, and then it says, I think it's shop is the icon. And um, a couple clicks and it's yours. And if you're skittish about going out like, some of us are, and I think numbers are rising, I can do a no contact delivery. So literally you can click a few times and then it can show up at your door. So um, that has been great. If you wanna actually come in and see, um, we have hours from Wednesday through Saturday, 11 to five. I've been open like that since 2016. It's always been Wednesday through Saturday, 11 to five. So we were, once we got that yellow, um, okay, the, you know, designation, we were, we were, we were there. Nobody was coming in though, but I was ready. Um, but now slowly, I feel like people are starting to come in. Um, I think this small works. I'm hoping um, everyone will be out uh, to, to see the first day. So it's Small Business Saturday. It's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. We're opening the small work show. I feel the, well, the whole Malvern, if you don't know Malvern, Pennsylvania, it's between Westchester and Wayne and um, it's on our King Street. It's our sweet little middle of our town. And um, there's going to be a lot of shops open small business Saturday. Um, we've all been trying to hang in there um, during everything. So we're hoping this season is great for everybody and buy small, forget Amazon, come out to the local shops. The shops give each of the towns the personality. Um, and really a lot of times it's, it's passion projects for people. And, you know, this was my passion project, uh, but I feel I have a great um, obligation or duty. I don't know what it is to, to make these artists that I love successful because they work all year long for shows. They put a lot of expense into framing and, and getting things ready for me um, that the onus is on me to really try to do a good job with marketing and get people excited about coming out or buy online, however you want to do it. <laughs> and you know, speaking of small and sense of dimensions, you know, we said small paintings are Right. Better as gifts, they're, they're less apt to become a problem to the recipient. Right. But and the other thing about says, small, small paintings I, look good on the web. Yeah. In other words, what you're buying off the web will look like the real McCoy. You won't, right. you won't open the box and say, this doesn't yeah. look right. I mean, they, that's the one advantage small paintings have uh, on the web. They're, they're, mm -hmm. they, they look like the real thing. Right. And I have not had a problem once when we have, at least for the last six months, we have been selling a lot online and I've been shipping. 
and um, no one has been disappointed. Thank goodness. The same here. So, I, I've purchased uh, several yeah. paintings in the last in, in the, within the year and uh, never been disappointed. Never. Yeah. And all of them, all of them off the uh, not all of them, but many of them off the web. Mm -hmm. um, and that's yes. because they're that's because they're small and um, right. and um, <clears throat> the the, the yeah. web the web version of it the avatar looks like the original right yeah and i have to say everyone has a wall in i'm looking at one of my walls over there it's it's an awkward little space between like molding and the frame of the door maybe there's a light switch over it like there is small walls in everyone's home um so don't feel like if if you're buying for a gift oh they're not going to find a place for it Right. I mean, everybody, you know, you just don't notice them. Right. So, and the other thing is that they're collectible. You know, yes. they can they can trigger the collection bug in people. Oh. Who suddenly say, "Wow, that's a beautiful looking cupcake. I wish I had four. Yeah. <laughs> or, yes. Or a beautiful looking pear. <laughs> right. And it's fun to collect. It, it really is. is. Believe it me, is. I have a little collecting issue myself. <laughs> <laughs> but it is you can start a collection for someone and you're taking stock in that artist um you know people don't see it as supporting um someone and it's not only saying oh i like your work which i do hear all the time and then people leave you know it's 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 saying i i like your work i want you to continue I, I want to be a part of your journey. I want to follow you. Um, it's it's more than uh, buying a sweater. It really is. It's it's personal, or it should be as you buy. Mm -hmm. um, and I do see that with my my collectors. I see that, and I'm thankful for it. Mm -hmm. And I think it says about the gift giver. You know, I'm a thoughtful, cultured. Yes. kind-hearted person and and there's no there's not apt to be a price tag on that painting so the person isn't <laughs> going to immediately figure out what the retail price is right and say, oh right. man all he gave me he gave me a 39 nine dollar gift <laughs> no 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 uh if if you buy it at gallery 222 everything is i do my whole signage everywhere i can so it's not like you, you bought it anywhere else, you know, like it's, it's packaged very well. So. Okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Bob. Thank you for the opportunity to talk about art. I love, it's my favorite thing to do is to talk about art. <laughs>